Go. So, hello everyone. Um, you are most welcome to this lesson. We are going to look at area of triangles and its application. Area of triangles. First of all, a triangle is a three-sided figure. Not a triangle. A triangle is a three-sided figure. A triangle is a three-sided figure. So now I was to, uh, we are going to derive the formula for finding the area of a triangle. So now, this is the triangle. We can have a triangle which is like this. Uh, this is the height, this is the base. And we can have a triangle which is like this. This is the right angle triangle. This is its height and this is its base. So now, H stands for the height, it represents the height, and uh, B uh, represents the base. And the uh, area of a triangle, area of a triangle is equal to a half times the base times the height. Uh, that can be the formula or some people can say area is equal to base times height out of two. So you can use any of the two formula to work out the area of a triangle. So we go to the example. Examples. Examples. Find the area find the area of find the area of the triangles find the area of the triangles below find the areas of the triangles below so now one we start with the first triangle it could be that find the area of the triangle below assuming this is our triangle and here it is 10 centimeters that is 10 centimeters and the height is um, the height is 8 centimeters and its base is 4 centimeters and we have been asked to find the area of the triangle. We have been asked to find the area of the triangle. So first of all, area of a triangle formula, area of a triangle, we have said it is any, you can use any of the formula. Some people may use, decide to use this or this. So it serves the same. So area is equals to a half times the base times the height of the triangle a half times the base of the triangle times the height of the triangle how do you determine the base of the triangle when you look at this example we have here uh, some people tend to think uh, the position of the base and the height is determined by the by this right angle where you find the right angle this one is where you find the base and the height some people normally make mistakes and instead use this slanty side which is the hypotenuse and they substitute it for the base no please you have to look for the right angle where it is and that will be the base so we substitute which is a half times the base which is 12 centimeters times the height which is um, 8 centimeters so we can Reduce it by 2, 1 by 2, we have 6 centimeters. So we have 6 centimeters times 8 centimeters. And 6 times 8, that is 48. 
cm times cm, that is cm squared. So that is the area of that triangle. So we go to our second example. Our second example is going to be a right angled triangle. Our second example is going to be a right angled triangle. And uh, its base is 15 centimeters and its height is, is, um, is 12 centimeters. Uh, assuming that it is the triangle, they are asking to find its area. Assuming that is the triangle, they are asking to find its area. So now we go to area is equals to area is equal to a half times the base times the height, which is a half times the base, which is 12 centimeters. The base is 15 centimeters times the height, which is 12 centimeters. So now we are going to reduce. You find that you realize that 15 is not divisible by 2. Any number divisible by 2 must be an even number. <coughs> 15 is not even. So we go to the height. The height is divisible by 2 because it is an even number. So by 2, 1. By 2, 6 centimeters. So therefore, we remain with 5 centimeters times 6 centimeters. So 5 times 6, 5 times 6 is 30. CM times CM is CM squared. So that is the area. I think uh, those two examples are enough for us. Now let me give some examples in the application. Application of area of a triangle. Application of area of the triangle. So we now go to application. Application. Application of of area of area application of area of a triangle application of area of a triangle application of area of a what? of a triangle now I'm going to use the very example they can see examples. Examples. We are going to have two examples using the same. I'm just going to change my questions. There is when they give you the area and they ask you for either the base or the height. Now, one, they can say, given that, given that, the area, the area of a triangle, given that the area of a triangle is 48 square centimeters 48 square centimeters calculate calculate the base of the triangle calculate the base of the triangle calculate the base of the triangle very good they have given you the area given that the area of the triangle below uh, let it be below given that the area of the triangle below is 48 centimeters square calculate the base of the triangle now this is our triangle They have given us the height. The height is 8 centimeters. The base is not given. The base is not given, but they have given us the area and the height of the triangle. So that is what I call application. They have given us the height of the triangle. 
They have given us the A of the triangle. So now this is what we have been given. I'm going to write a summary of what I had. A summary is very important. This is a summary of my question. They have given me the area. Area is 48 centimeters square. Area is 48 centimeters square. Uh, they have given me the height. The height is 8 centimeters. And the base is what they are asking for. Or they have not given the base. So what do I have to do? I have to use the formula for finding area of a triangle to get the unknown base. Why am I using the formula for finding area of a triangle? Because I have been given the area. So that means it is going to be a half times base times height is equal to area. A half times base times height is equal to area. Then I substitute. To substitute is to remove and replace. So now we are going to, this is a half times the base which you do not have. So you maintain B because you do not know the base. It is what you are looking for. Times the height uh, which is 8 centimeters is equal to the area which is 48 centimeters square which is 48 centimeters square now we can work out and we can cancel by two one by two this is four centimeters are we together so you have b times four centimeters is equals to 48 is equals to 48 centimeters. So we have to divide both sides by 4. Uh, remember this is square. That is square. We are looking for the value of the base. So now we are going to divide. So this is going to be B times 4, cent, four centimeters is equal to 48 times cm times cm because cm squared means you multiply cm twice cm squared means you multiply cm twice so divide both sides by 4 centimeters and by 4 centimeters to remain with only b which is the base so we can this will go with that so by 4 1 by 4 1 so you remain with only b by 4, so you are meaning that you have lost 1 cm. So by 4, this is 1. By 4, this is 12. So you remain with 12 times cm. So meaning that the base is 12 centimeters. And remember, our base in that question, the first question was 12 centimeters. So there you are. That is how we can get the best. Okay, now let me go to, let me look at also the second, our second example. Our second example, the area, uh, the triangle, the triangle was, the triangle was a right angle triangle. Uh, please do not, uh, maybe you are, uh, you must have done this, so that means even if I erase this off, uh, so we look at our second example with application. Second example still with application. Example two. Uh, they can say given that given that given that the area the area of the area of a triangle, given that the area of a triangle is 30 centimeters squared, full stop. Then they say if it's if if it's if it's base, if it's base is 15 centimeters. Full stop. Calculate its height. Calculate its height. 
calculate its height. So now, so now this is what we do. We write a summary, we summarize. A summary of the equation. Area has been given. Area is 30 centimeters squared. Then, um, what have they given? They have said given that the area of the triangle is 30 centimeters squared. If its base is 15, base is 15 centimeters. And its height is what we do not have because they are asking for the height. So now we bring in the formula. Now I'm going to use the other second formula. Remember that I have given you two formulae. So let me use the second one. So now it is base times height out of 2 is equal to area. This one can also serve as the formula. Then we substitute. Um, uh, this is um, this, the base has been given. So 15 centimeters times the height which we do not know is equal to, out of 2 is equal to the area which is 30 centimeters square. I think you agree with me. So now you realize uh, that you have to eliminate the fraction. You have to eliminate the fraction. So the LCD is uh, 2. The LCD is 2. So you are going to multiply both sides by 2. So that is going to be 2 times 15 centimeters times the height out of 2 is equal to 30 centimeters squared <coughs> times 2. So this will go off with that. You lose that. Uh, then now. Um, So we continue from this side, so we remain with 15H, 15H, 15 centimeters times H is equal to 30 centimeters square times 2. So now, we want to eliminate 15 under the units. So we are going to divide both sides by 15 centimeters. Um, now before we do that, uh, we, we have to expand the other one. Uh, this is 15 centimeters times h is equal to 30 centimeters. Cm squared means we multiply Cm twice. That is Cm times Cm times 2. So divide by 15 centimeters because why do we divide by 15 centimeters? Because we want to remain with h alone, which is the height. Divided by 15 centimeters. So this will go with that, remain with h. So we cancel this unit will go with that unit. So by 15, 1 by 15 twice. Are we together? So, which is going to be, uh, which is going to be two, that is going to be two times, two times, that is going to be two times the centimeters we have and um, <laughs> two times two centimeters two times centimeters times the two centimeters the two which ends up as the height is equal to four centimeters the height is equal to four centimeters so now I think those uh, two examples will be enough for us. Those two examples will be enough for us. So now I am going to write the activity for you on the board, the activity that will be done. You write the activity or to do the activity? Okay. 
So activity, activity that will be done one find the area of the triangle.
Okay, this is the activity that will be done about what we have done. Uh, the first question, find the area of the triangles below. And these are the triangles. Then after you go to the application, now we are applying what we learned here. We are applying what we, what we learned here. They say, now here they give you the area. They give you one of the, of the two, either the base or the height, and then they ask you to find the other side. So that is the application part of it. So uh, these four questions, I believe uh, they will be enough for you to pra for practice. Otherwise, thank you for thank you for uh, for viewing this lesson. We meet next time in the next lesson.